Hello everyone. In this video, we will see one of the important questions based on the bitwise manipulations. Okay. So let's see what is the question. The question is, if you are given a decimal number, so you have to check whether the kth bit of that given number is set or not. Okay. So let's see the example. So basically, let's say you are given a question 21, which is a decimal number. Okay. And you are given value of k as 2. Okay. So both these will be given as input to you. Okay. Now you have to tell whether the second bit k equal to 2 means second bit is set or not okay so what is uh, like this question uh, is asking so 21 in the binary representation can be written as like this okay so i can just write 1 2 4 8 16 these are the weights of this okay so this is 21 now k equal to 2 means second bit second bit means this is zeroth bit this is first second third fourth okay so you can ask the interview whether we are taking the uh, the this bit okay this first bit uh, as zeroth bit okay or you can say uh, we are taking this as first bit second bit third bit how the numberings we are dealing with okay whether we are taking it from 0 1 2 3 4 or we are saying okay this is first bit second bit third bit fourth bit like this okay accordingly there will be some change in the like uh, uh, out uh, solution basically okay but there will not much change okay so let's start with this approach okay so this is the zero bit first bit second bit so we have to tell whether this second bit okay this second bit it is set set means whether this bit is one or not okay so here you can see the second bit is one okay this bit is one so we will say that yes the second bit inside the binary representation of 21 it is set it is basically one so yes okay let's say for the same number if we are asked whether the third bit k equal to three third bit is set or not so third bit means zero one two three four this third bit whether this is one no it is not one it is zero so we'll say it is so you can be asked any value of the k okay now here we are also assuming that k will be valid okay like user will not be entering the value of k as minus one minus two okay these are the invalid values okay uh, and the number is basically a 32 bit number so like there will be like all zeros okay and we are considering a unsigned number uh, n is a unsigned number okay so these are the like uh, like the things that are we are assuming okay now uh, like we can be asked like k equal to let's say uh, 7 okay k equal to 7 that is 7th bit so here this is 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 6 7 so here 7th bit is 0 okay so here we will we should get that yes 7th bit is uh, whether it is set or not we will say no it is not set so i hope you have understood the question that what does this question mean and what is the demand of this question and what will be the output okay now how we will solve this question so if you have seen my video of the web to check whether a given decimal number is even or odd using the bitwise operator, you can get the idea. It is based on that only. Okay. It is very simple observations. Okay. So as in any of the question of the based on the bitwise uh, operators, we have to see uh, basically two things. What? One is the what operator or what bitwise operator we are going to apply and what will be the mask. That is the bit pattern that we are going to use. Okay and like uh, based on the uh, result we will be uh, going forward okay so as in the case of the even and odd number case we were checking that uh, whether the lsp bit is zero or one okay like the first approach that we saw there it was based on whether my given uh, lsp is zero or one basically right so in case of even number the lsp is zero okay and in case of odd number the lsp bit is always uh, one right this we have saw and based on that only we were applying the mask okay there we apply the mask as like uh, we apply the mask as one okay always and we apply let's say the end operator and then we saw okay when we apply the end operator okay on a given number okay on my given number what will happen see all these bits are zero so applying the end operator will make them as zero right and what will be the this bit because it is one then I will get one only because this will be like hard coded always okay so let's say this 21 21 is a odd number okay so in case of odd number this lsv will uh, bit will be always one this is getting copied okay this is happening like that so in case of odd number i was getting one and in case of even number what i was getting so in case of uh, like even number this bit this lsv bit will be zero okay like let's say it is 20 okay in case of 20 this will be my bit pattern and we apply this mask okay so here what will happen this one will make this bit okay or you can say the resultant bit will be zero because i am playing end operator because this is zero in case of even number this is basically getting copied okay 
so basically i am extracting i am extracting this zeroth bit using this bitwise and operator and this mask okay and all these bits will make this as zero so here there is no change here there is no change in case of even and odd number by the, by all these four bits i cannot tell whether it is a even or odd something like that but by this bit okay this bit is different here this bit is different here so in case of even number i will get this as zero this as one so finally if i get the resultant answer as one then my number will be if, uh, sorry odd number otherwise my result uh, my given number will be even so i was concentrating on the this bit right now here my uh, the question is whether the any whether any kth bit any kth bit is set or not whether that bit is one or not whether the, that bit is one or zero so i have to apply somehow the mask on the kth bit right i have to apply the mask on the kth bit not on the zeroth bit so for example my number is one zero one zero one this 21 only and i am taking example of k equal to two that is this bit i have to check whether this is zero or one okay so if i have to check this bit what i will do i will put one here only and i will just make all things as zero so this will be my mask okay and what i will do i have to extract this bit i have to basically check na, whether kth bit is set or not whether that bit is one or not okay so basically somehow i have to extract this bit and here i should get this bit okay and for example let's say my same number is one zero one zero one same thing okay and k equal to three that means this bit i have to check whether this is one or zero okay so same thing i will do i will up put one below this only this kth bit and all other bits i will make zero somehow so this mask i will use okay and then i have to see how i can extract this zero here so basically in my final answer i should get zero here okay now what i will do which operator i should apply so if i apply let's say bitwise and operator okay and this is like 21 again okay so i have to see whether this is one uh, like how i can extract so can you extract uh, this uh, one here using this thing so yes i can extract see the one and zero bitwise and will make it zero 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 one one it will be one zero 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 and one zero zero let's apply this on this okay so here again all these are zero basically so it is simple all these things will become zero only zero only because this is zero okay so even if it is one it will be like this zero will be coming here okay or you can say this this will become zero so this zero is basically extracted here here you see one is extracted here so you can see here this bit was one okay so this bit one will be extracted here all the bits will remain zero but if this bit is zero it will be zero and all the bits are same they will be remaining as zero so the final observation is if i am getting the final answer as zero then that means my kth bit was not set it was zero basically but if i am getting any non zero number okay non zero number then my kth bit was set it was one okay this is very important this whole number is not equal to one this is not one this is basically basically four that's why i'm saying if my resultant answer is non-zero it can be one two three any number but it will not be zero then my uh, kth bit will be set so this is the simple observation now you may be thinking that how we can get this right so my simple program will be like if my n and bitwise end and here it will be mask if answer of this whole thing is coming as zero then my given n is even otherwise it is odd okay but how i will make this mask this is not basically not one okay again this is not one okay this is dependent on whether like which uh, which is the kth bit okay like so this mask is basically dependent on k okay so what i will do so for example here k was two right so what i will do let's say if i have this one and if i shift this one by two places by k places but it will become so k uh, k places means uh, like if i play uh, like if i shift one time to this side okay then what will happen like one will come here basically right so it will be like zero then this will be one zero 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 if i shift it again because i have to shift two times basically then what will happen 
this will come here so all things will be remain zero so after shifting this two times this one two times i will get this this is the mask same way if i shift it again one more time that is three times basically right so now one more time it will come here so it will become this mask so what i am doing i am saying one left shift by k places so this will become as mask so i will apply this mask with this end and this is the operator so if you like this video please like comment share subscribe this channel and if you have any suggestion please write down into the comment box if you have any doubt also please write down into the comment box see you in the next video till then goodbye